okay? We always have to pay attention to the youth of our nation, but when it comes to the gender that is usually led astray of, or falling into behavioral issues, our boys unfortunately hold the higher statistic. The School Boys Mentorship Program is stepping in to prevent long-term consequences. And with me now are the founder, Sergeant Nicoyan Brown, and participants, Ricardo and Lashon. Um, good morning, everyone. Welcome morning. to Smile Jamaica. Thank you for having us. Sergeant, yes, you sir. started this? Yes. Why? Well, in Which area, by the way? Which area? Meant which area? Which area did you start this in? in, in Coburn Garden. Coburn Garden. Yes. Yeah. So why you started it? So in 2012, I decided I wanted to give back. And I wanted a school that has a, um, a little weak um, boys or girls association. So I look around. I couldn't find it because most of them in Kingston, they had a, a fairly good mm. boy or girl association. And um, it was about three months after, I was driving in Ugly Park and I saw Coburn Garden. I went over there, I spoke to the principal, and that was it. What you do? When well, you say a mentorship program, what, what you do? Well, it involves mentoring and coaching. I go there from time to time. So it's a year-long program, and it will end with a retreat. Okay. Um, are your colleagues involved in this, or this is just... I've, I got, yeah, I get this assistant from them. Quite a few assistants, yeah. that is. Be a little bit more specific. So you go in, and who do you talk to? What age group you talk to? What do you tell them? What they do? Well, I talk to the groups from 9 to 13. Um, with different topics each time we go. Um, the last, time, last thing we did was um, hygiene. Because I realized some of the boys, they're playing football, their body, bodies are maturing, and you know, so you know, we need mm -hmm. to tell them about it. And you know, try to understand that, you know, you have to take care of your bodies because when you're going out, you yeah, know, man. you perspire hard and the type of colognes to use, stuff like that. Yeah, man. LaShawn, how old are you? 11 years old. What's your favorite subject? Science. Science? What you going to be when you get bigger? Um, Not certain yet? It's a scientist. Scientist? Yeah. Um, how has this program helped you? It helped me in a way that when, like, when people are um, down on you and telling you to don't do that and disencouraging you, it tells me to push forward in life, no matter what life brings towards me. Fantastic. Ricardo, morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How old are you, sir? I'm 15 years old. What do you want to be when you grow up? I'd like to become the Prime Minister of Jamaica. Yeah? So you're into politics? Yes, sir. Yeah? Oh, what's your favorite subject? Mathematics, sir. Math? That's yes, brilliant. Sir. And let me ask you the same question I asked Sean. How did this program help you? It, it benefited me a lot in my life, sir. Um, it helped me, like, it helped me to show, it helped me to look better and think greater of life what life really is, not just think the negative part. They tell me to think through any decision that I'm making, so I don't make the, don't just quick to make a decision, I think first. When I think, I can make the right decision, don't just act, I have to think. That this program helped me. Brilliant. Yes, LaShawn, before you got involved in this program, you were, you were a troublesome little boy, you gave trouble, you got a hard time for your friends, what? No, sir. I was a good student. And you're, still, you're a better student now because yes, of it. Yes, sir. What is the, all of them are, they are the blue tie means they are all prefects. Blue tie means yes. they are prefects. Mm -hmm. This is brilliant. How many youngsters have you impacted? Um, since 2012, probably 400 and a half. I, I can't. I, I, Some I, of them I don't would keep have left. Up. Yes, last year. Will they year. come back to help? Ah, uh, not really, because most of them that left, they gone on to high school. So I don't think they had the age to help as yet. Um, but last year was one of my best years. We, you know, it was challenging for the program. But when I went to the graduation and I saw the boys graduating and how humble and the level of growth, I was most impressed. Yeah. Um, boy, this is such a good story. What else can you do for these youngsters? What, what else do you want to do for them? Well, I hope to take this program... Not international, <laughs> but well, across, across Jamaica, where you can get um, different boys involved. But for now, we're focusing on that, this institution. But a couple years from now, we want to do, we will have the retreat, we want to do like 10 boys from that school, 10 from that school. But you know, everything takes uh, money. Most of the things that I've done is out of pocket, and it's a bit challenging. And time. everything takes time. You're and a time. police officer. Yes. And uh, um, probably yeah. a very busy yeah. police officer. Yeah. So yeah. where do you find the time to do all of this? Um, I have good sub-officers and officers that understand the importance of mentorship, and from time to time they assist me with the time off. Yeah. 
would you want to see this, even if, if it's not done by you, but would you want to see this in all of the, the, the schools around? Definitely, there? definitely. Um, I'm in talks with some of my colleagues to get this program on the ground. Some females officers, they came up to me and they are very interested in the program and I'm helping them to start it out. How good do you feel when you see um, youngsters? It's the level of feeling is compared to none. Um, when I look at them, even at the retreat, the level of participation that they gave and interaction, it was overwhelming. We have some other youngsters with us. Yes, they are dancers. I don't know about anything about their dancing, but they they some Sorry, stuff. You didn't teach them <laughs> no, the dancing. I did not teach them that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they look good, I I it's the office that yes, teach them. Yes. <laughs> but I'm sure they'll do their best. Yeah. And they're from yes. Coburn Gardens. Yes. We will get the names after and we will introduce them officially. Um, fantastic effort, sir. Thank you, sir. Brilliant effort. I hope you become the Prime Minister and yes. continue to work hard and continue to do what you love and continue to be, as you said, a good student. All right? Thank you, Thank you very much. Sir. Yeah, man. Sergeant, you. great to see you. Thank you. You know the names of your friends over there? Um, yes, not all of them. Not all of them. All right, we'll get the names later on. But I don't know if I must call them a dance group or... So, so it's a Coburn Garden dance group. Coburn Gardens dance group. Yes. Here they are. Let's see what they're up to. And then afterwards, we could tell you the names.